What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bite the Bait Fish. We are back today doing another collab video, Daniel and myself. We're back over in the Jensen Beach side of Florida and we're gonna do some inshore saltwater fishing. Stay tuned, I have a good feeling we're gonna have a good episode today. Smells a little fishy around here. Oh yeah! Beautiful day in South Florida. Hell yeah, man. Let's get it. Let's do it. Right, you guys so Daniel already started fishing we're pretty, pretty much we're gonna target the whole entire mangrove shoreline and uh, we're gonna be using artificials we do got some live shrimp with us but primarily we're gonna try to get these guys on artificials we're chasing snook mangrove snapper sea trout redfish pompano jacks just a whole different variety of inshore species right now I'm gonna start the day off with a bunch of different Zagaya lures and we're gonna see how that how that does. If I can get my my lines untangled. Right. Be a guide. You gotta be able to catch fish every time you exactly, go out. Exactly. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's strong. Nice. There we go. Oh, a little snook. A, a little snook on the zagaya. Yeah, that's good. All right. They like that, that jerk bait action. Guys, we are officially on the board. Let me oh, go. Yeah. We broke the skunk. Nice. <laughs> first fish of the day. Yeah, get them playing, man. First fish of the day, first hook in the finger of the day. Mm -hmm. Not bad, that's what you get for trying to get a picture with a fish. Showing the Zagaya Bigua Gold right now. Oh, there we go. Another one on the Zagaya Bigua Gold, baby. That, right there. that is awesome. They're smalls, but they're still a nice little snook. They're still fun on light tackle. Using my little pen 2500. Let's get this little guy back in there. Good job. That's a red. Oh, that's a red! It's a redfish? Oh, yeah, baby! Good job, man. Get on camera. Redfish, buddy! Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, buddy. that's a beautiful redfish, too. Buddy, you, you got the, the net. I don't want to, okay, no, no. You want me to land them for you? No, you got no, it. I got it. I got you got it? it? I got this deal. Oh, man, are you kidding me? Good job, bud. Are you kidding me? That's a good one, too. I, nah. I mean, it's not a huge one, but it's not bad. Red, that is like that was in the shrimp, oh, right? Oh gosh! Yeah. Oh look at my that. gosh, guys, look at this red nice fish. Man. That's beautiful. Nice red fish. It's my favorite fish to catch. There we go. Get out of those trees. Get out of those trees, boy. Another little snook. All right, guys. Ah, oh, no, man. Okay. Here we go, guys. Doubled up. Daniel just landed that, that really nice redfish. I'm on to my third snook of the day on the Zagaya Bigua Gold. Beautiful. Beauty. All right. It's my fourth snook, right? Fourth or fifth? Shit. I'm bad, man. You know, wish, I should be a guy, man. 300. Wish they were bigger, but hey. 300 bucks. Yeah, let me release this guy by the water. He got a bunch of trebles in him. Oh, yeah. I don't want to. Nice, right. Let me just show you guys really quick what I'm using. This is the white and red Zagaya Bigua Gold. And this guy right here kind of acts like an X wrap. Very aggressive bait. More of a slash bait, jerk bait style. Um, I like to tie it on one of these quick release clips, it gives it a much freer swimming motion. That's how I like to do it, but this is great. It dives down. It's It could be anywhere from a subsurface bait to a bait that goes down to about three feet deep. So I really like throwing these in the freshwater, or even in salt water when I'm doing inshore like this. But this is a great fish to target. It's a great lure to target fish. Bye. 
five, but little ones though, but hey, I'll take them. Better than getting skunked. Oh, one just missed it. And we got one on. There you go. Number six. Oh man, I'm gonna start a countdown here, dude. I'm on number six. <laughs> People probably watching at home are like, you're catching a bunch of little fish. Yeah, wow, that's too fun. Why are you so excited? There we go. A little aggressive guy right there. There we go. Come on board. Come on, Marida. Come on board, number seven. Red, man, the red. You gotta catch a red. Yeah, maybe when I get to number 10, I'll catch a red, you know? <laughs> so I'm already on seven, so at this pace, I'm bound to hit it by number 10. Oh. Ah! Ooh! It swiped you, huh? Yeah. Oh, hopefully we don't get crossed there, because that's where my line is. Oh. But I think we're okay, because yours... Yeah. Oh! Come over here. Come over here, you little fancy snook. <laughs> oh, man. Too funny, man. Number eight. Oh, yeah. That's number eight, guys. This is just too funny. Thank you. Oh, ooh, no. With a power pull of here, buddy, you know? Huh? With a power pull of here. Yeah, right now is when that power pole would come in handy because it would we just put it in that way. Yeah. It would just lock us in place where we can both fish on one side no, of the boat. No, we put the power pole and that's it, man. Another one. That's number nine. Do you think it's gonna be annoying if I keep counting? Yeah. Oh, number eight. No, no, that counts. That was at the no, boat. No, 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 no. I got the, I got the leader count. touch on that no. one. No, you didn't, you never touched the leader. Yeah, I have a long leader. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> like 20, 20, 20 foot. I actually have a really long leader. It's probably like I a know, 10 I foot know. leader, honestly. I know. I'm a counter. It was it's number nine. Kidding. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's number 10. Room for the boat. Room for the boat. Number 10. All right, next one's a redfish. That would be nice. Could you imagine if I call it? We gotta go play the lottery tonight. Yeah. And remember me, man. Yeah, remember <laughs> you, right? Yeah. Please. I'll buy you another boat, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. You're like, no, no, just I'm give good me the money. One. I'm good with this. Give me some money. Give me some money, no boat. <laughs> I'm good with you. And a power pole. Ah, can't forget the power pole, right? But again, guys, that was the Zagaya Bigua Gold in the white and red pattern. Hey, Zagaya, why are you chasing it? Should be on. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go, there you go buddy. Ah. Oh. You got the same one? No, no, no. Buddy, get the, the net. The net, please. I gotta eat this guy. Please. Ice. Catching ships, eh? Can complain. These guys go with us. I never have a ship, eh? And people say it's good, so. Let's keep it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yours. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, they're like, it's like 300. First sheep head for me. Ever. It's pretty awesome. Look oh. at how stuck that hook is in there. Man, you see that? Check out that mouth on that sheep's head. When you hook that one? Oh. That's my first ever sheep's head. Super cool looking fish. Took me a few tries. I lost a one that was probably twice as big as this one. But that's just the way it happens sometimes. Yo, you want to eat this or you want me to throw it back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? You got a nice fish. What is it? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> nice. Another sheep said. It's my first time catching them. They actually fight pretty hard. They're a decent fish. They look like they have some pretty white meat on them. Daniel's going to eat them tonight, right? How are you going to cook it? Blacken? Yeah. What do you use to blacken it? Just black and season. Black and season? Oh yeah. And then what do you fry it or how no, do you no, cook no. it? Pan seared. Pan seared? Some nice little fillets you can get out of this guy. Oh yeah. That was fun. Super yeah. fun. Wow. 
Had a great time today. Not any monsters, but we've caught fish and first time ever catching sheep's head. So it seems like there's always a new for me, a new for, for me to catch when I go out fishing. Thanks to uh, my buddy here, Daniel Perlet. Make sure you... All right, you guys, so, so far, what was I saying before they come back? Oh, I was gonna say. All right, so my GoPro just shut off on me out of nowhere, like they usually do. There's no warning, you know, that you're about to run out of memory, or you know, it has like a little tiny font that I'm never paying really att close attention to to see how many minutes are left. But anyways, I was just trying to plug in Daniel here. Make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel. Is it still DPC Fishing? DPC Fishing. So make sure you guys check him out. I'll look it up on my YouTube channel. I'll link it below so you guys can check out his channel. Subscribe to him. If you're new to us, subscribe to us too. And make sure you like the video for more awesome videos to come. And uh, we're gonna keep fishing. And so far it's been a good day. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right, you guys. So we just pretty much wrapped up our day. I'm about to hop on the turnpike and head back down south home to meet up with the family and have some dinner and just chill, go back to work tomorrow. But um, overall, super fun day. Always a great time when I come up north and go fishing with Daniel on his uh, inshore boat and we go hit up the flats. We had a nice little mixed bag of fish and it was a total success. We didn't catch a lot of big fish, but we did catch fish. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, appreciate all the subscribes, all the likes. You know, all the comments and all the support. Always a lot of fun to get your feedback. So if you guys got any questions or you just want to say hi, leave a comment down low. And I'll see you guys next time on Bike Debate Fishing.